Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial on the new Pumpkin Spice Collection by Too Faced. I am so excited to be getting into this. If you know me, have watched my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, you know that I am a fall lover. Fall is my favorite season, and this is what gets me excited. I honestly at first was like, do I need it? Because I do have the previous collection, and I was like, you know what, I need it, I'm gonna get it. So I ran over there and I was like, you know what, today I'm gonna sit down and do a review and tutorial for you guys, compare this to the old collection in case you already have that collection and let you guys know my thoughts, whether it's worth it or not, because it is not cheap. I wanna give you all the tea before you go spend your money. So if you wanna continue watching and see my thoughts and how this look turns out, then please go ahead and do so. So you can currently find this collection on TooFaced.com, you can find it at Sephora, you can also find it at Ulta. So there's many places where you can find this collection. This one I did pick up from my local Ulta and I actually used some of my Ulta points because I was like, girl, this is $54. I need to use some of my Ulta points because I've been adding them up. This was a perfect time to use it. Um, so this is called the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice Collection. It's supposed to be a sexy, sparkling pumpkin pie scented eyeshadow palette with 18 warm and spicy shades in a variety of finishes. Um, this is cruelty free and free of parabens. Dun, 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 dun. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I'm already obsessed. And already, right off the bat, packaging is different than the second one. And I'm not just talking about like how it looks, but the fact that it comes in this type of packaging over this. This packaging is so much more travel friendly. Like it makes a difference. You guys can see the thickness. So I personally really appreciate that because sometimes it can be a lot. We're gonna open her up and see what she looks like. Let me open it this way so you guys can see. Guys, look at this palette. I can literally already smell how good it smells. It looks so pretty. These colors are stunning. Like I was looking at the promo and even when I saw it in store, cause I did see it in store a few times before I decided to purchase it. It is really, really pretty. I actually will say just right off the bat, I prefer these colors over the original pumpkin spice palette. So this is the original and this is the new one, the second slice. So I feel like the original one to me was a little random. I have to admit, I felt like the original one just had way too much going on. And I understand having like a variety of different, you know, color schemes, but I just, I wasn't getting the pumpkin spice vibes from this one. This one is definitely giving me pumpkin spice. This one I can see myself using a lot. And honestly, I'm like, I have to get my $54 worth of this palette because let me just tell you, that's not the cheapest. And I didn't use all my Ulta points. I used some of them, so I still had to pay the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and just get right to work because I want to show you guys these colors in action. I'm going to just create a base for my eyeshadows gonna be using my Real Techniques 300 brush. I like to use this brush to set that concealer all over my eyelids so that it creates a really nice base for my eyeshadows. I wanna know your thoughts on this collection. Let me know down below. Are you a fall lover like me? If so, let me know down below. Leave a little orange heart because I love fall, all things fall. And it's crazy because I am a Christmas baby. I'm literally born on December 27th and this year is actually my golden birthday. So I'm gonna be 27 on the 27th. I cannot believe it. Literally going into my late 20s, I'm like, what is life? I feel like I was just 24. Because before the pandemic happened, like I was 24. And I feel like during the pandemic, we just lost like three years of our life. And then we came out and we're like, oh my God, we're like three years older, you know? So what are we gonna do for the palette? I think I'm gonna first start off with something toasted right here. One thing I will say about these palettes is that they do have fallout when you first go into it. This color, very pigmented right off the bat, I have to say. Mm, it does smell like pumpkin pie. It's not like one of those scents that like gives you a headache. It's kind of like one of those scents that makes you hungry, to be honest. Oh, I love this palette so much more, like the practicality of it. And I will say for me, I'm one of those people that when it comes to Too Faced, I really love their holiday collections. They know how to bring it with their holiday collections. And as somebody who loves packaging, like they really get me with their holiday collections. Okay, so we have that. Then we're gonna go in with the shade Crust Issues. That is such a cute name right here. And I'm gonna put that kind of closer to my crease, but wow. That color is 
gorgeous. I can't tell you how many times I went back and forth from the display of this pumpkin spice collection because I was literally like, should I get it, should I get it? And then I would be like, it's a little too pricey for me. And then I was like, girl, just use your Ulta points. That's one of the things that I love about Ulta is the reward points. They have a great system for that. Then we're gonna go in a little deeper. We're gonna go in with second helping and we're gonna place that right above crust issues. I think I'm gonna go in with first with serving looks and then mix it with spice-tacular. I said spooktacular. I'm like already thinking about October and it's only the second day of September. Okay, so I mixed those two. Ooh, those two are really pretty. I have to say these mattes so far are very pigmented and very easy to blend. I do wanna say just a random thought. I think one of the reasons why most of us fall lovers start doing all things fall so early is because honestly fall is like the shortest season in my opinion. Fall and spring, cause spring is pretty short too. But like fall, like I just feel like I blink my eye and it's already about to be Thanksgiving. And I'm like, when did that happen? Cause I, I honestly don't know. So I feel like I have to constantly just kind of be doing something fall within September and October. So now that we have those colors, I need to figure out what shimmer I wanna use. I think I'm gonna go in with one more bite because one more bite is giving me pumpkin-y vibes. Ooh, look at that pigment. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna take my palette. Oh yes, this is pretty. Wow, this blends so easily. And also I have to say, like I do not need any type of spray for this because right away it's giving me that pigment. That is so pretty guys. We're gonna go ahead and take a warmer shimmer shade. I just need to quickly cleanse the palette from my brush. So I'm just using my color switch and I'm gonna go back in. And the real question is what shade do I want to use? I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Cutie Pie right here and see what that does. I'm just gonna put that right here. Oh, that is so pretty. I haven't done a look like this in a while, but I am obsessed with this look so far. Okay, so we have that. No spray whatsoever, just the eyeshadows, this look, oh my God. This is why I love fall, because I just love all the fall tones. So now to close up this look, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the shade Eyes on Pies right here, because it's a little bit of that like burnt red tone, I think it will look really good to kind of top it off. Like, look at this. The real question is, do I want to take this to the next level and do a liner? I literally made it more intense than I thought I was gonna make it. I thought I was gonna do like a small baby wing, but you guys know when you create a fall look, things can get a little more dramatic than expected. So now we're gonna move on to brow bone highlight. This palette has like the perfect brown bone highlights. So it has Sip Sip Hooray and Everything Nice, but I think I'm gonna be using Everything Nice right here. And I'm going to be just applying this right onto my brow bone highlight. It looks so good right here. And another reason I like these colors is because I'm able to use this also. Like let's say if I wanna do like a matte makeup look, I can use this color as like a matte makeup look moment, not just for my brow bone highlight. So I am so happy that Too Faced did that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the face and I'm gonna come back so I can do the final little steps to the eyes and we can move on to the lip because I want to get into this gorgeous, gorgeous Too Faced lipstick. So I finished the rest of the face. As you guys can see, it's all coming together really nicely. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to do this little liner right here. So I'm just gonna be using the shade Spice-tacular and that's the shade that we use to create that eyeliner. So I'm just gonna be taking it here. You guys can see like it really makes a difference. It really like elongates the eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and smoke up the lower lash line. I think for that I'm gonna go in with the shade Second Helping and I'm gonna just start off with that and see kind of where this takes us. It's just a really nice 
orangey tone that I feel like will kind of make the under eyes pop a little bit more, especially with the white eyeliner I place on our lower lash line. I just feel like, yeah, look at that. It just makes it pop in a very pretty way. I didn't want to go too warm, like a brown, just because I didn't want it to be too intense. So I just took that orangey shade and I think it comes together perfectly. Right, so now we're gonna do lips. I'm just gonna quickly take a makeup wipe and I'm going to remove our lip balm. But let's talk the new Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Lip Balm. So right away, this packaging, guys, it is literally beautiful. So it's a little bit different than the old packaging. This one is more like pumpkin spice latte. This is more like pie. I thought it was $19. When I saw $26, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, are you actually kidding me? So yeah, I was a little taken back. So this is what the colors look like side by side. So over here we have the original one and this is the new one right here. So the new one is a little bit darker than the original one. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do to show you guys what these look like side by side is I'm going to do one side with the old one. So we have here this one and this one was in the shade Pumpkin Spice. Now the new one, PSL. I like the packaging on the new one better. I just love the pumpkin spice latte on there. The PSL we're gonna do on this side. So here we have the original one and here we have the new one. I feel like the old one is a little bit more muted and then the new one is a little bit more like of a brick tone red. So I'm gonna quickly redo the lip with just the new one, PSL, and I am gonna use a liner. So we're gonna go ahead and line and apply. I'm gonna go in with this lip liner by Maybelline. This is in the shade 120 Rich Chocolate. And I'm just taking my fingers and blend out the lip liner. Okay, so then we're gonna take the PSL lipstick and put that on top. I feel like the lip liner just gives it really good dimension. It smells so good. I literally feel like this is prepping me for Thanksgiving. And I'm like, not yet, not yet. Okay, I love this. And voila, we have the Pumpkin Spice Second Slice collection on our face and I am honestly obsessed. I love how this look turned out. The final thoughts on this palette, I like this palette a lot better than the original one. I feel like the colors just make so much more sense. I really like this color scheme. I feel like I can do a lot more for fall looks than I felt like I could with the original Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. So I will say this is definitely for the person who loves pumpkin spice, who loves fall, who loves this type of situation. The colors performed very beautifully. I've had no issues with these colors. I was very impressed. Um, I would would like to maybe one day use that shade more please maybe like as we get deeper into fall I can use that but the colors that I did use 10 out of 10 really good um, I would say that if you're somebody who purchased the pumpkin spice palette and you weren't impressed with this you may want to check this one out because I think you're gonna really love this or perhaps if you're somebody that missed the original pumpkin spice palette and want to try it this time get it i have to say i'm not disappointed i will continue using this palette and also this lippy this is gonna be my new go-to whenever i want like some serious fall vibes this is great the lip comp i shared with you guys definitely try that out but i really like it so if you had your eyes on this and want to make the splurge check it out i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this review and tutorial i really wanted to make it as informative as possible for you guys especially if you were eyeing this collection so if you guys enjoyed watching this please give it a big thumbs up it lets me to continue doing these type of videos for you guys and i think that's all i have so i hope you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed and i'll be seeing you guys very very soon for a brand new video bye guys